again and welcome. Today's video is going to be a, uh, an inlay uh, video. I'm going to be using some mini put, something which has been around a while and the guy to go across and watch and see the proper way of using it is Jim Overton from Jim's and Stuff. I'll put a link into Jim's, to Jim's channel in the description below. Um, I've got three colours, I've got black, superfine white and terracotta. And I think on this project I'll be using the black and terracotta. Um, you know me and anything to do with fiddly inlays and stuff, it's not really my scene, but I am actually looking forward to doing this. Well, I hope you believe it or not. What I'm going to do is take this piece of ash, which is about 8 inches by 3, 3.5 inches square, and make a goblet. It's going to be a chunky goblet, more like a chalice, to allow me to put the inlay in, and, and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, but for the in-depth instruction, if you like, of how to use Miniput, go across to Jim's channel, because he is the guru of Miniput in the turning world, in my opinion. Um, the other thing is that um, you will see here a sticker, a Yuki sticker. There's another one up there as well. Um, the reason I've got two is you can go to the website and you can get order your free sticker, just charge you postage. And uh, I went a step further and I got this lovely, well uh, embroidered patch. I haven't decided where to put it yet because uh, I don't actually have a turning smock, because I'm not into turning smocks really, I tend to use t-shirts and, and other, other things. So um, I might just sort of get a double-sided sticky tape, tape and stick it where I feel. <laughs> anyway, go across there to the website and uh, order your free sticker. We'll get on with this uh, mini put inlay goblet and we'll see how it goes. I'll see you over at the lathe. going to be where the um, inlay is going to be on the goblet bowl and uh, what I'm going to do now is carry on shaping because don't forget when the milli puts put in there you've got to allow it to dry and then obviously bring it flush and finish it off.
And what I'm doing here is just putting some sanding sealer in the um, in the groove. Leave that dry, and then that should hopefully stop the mini put bleeding into the wood. Okay, what I've got here is some greaseproof paper. So I'm going to be using the. Uh, we'll start with the black, and I'm going to put gloves on for this because, unlike Jim and Carl, I'm a bit of a wimp. this together. Now, I won't bore you with me doing that but you just keep mixing until it's an even colour. So I'll come back when that's achieved. I'm going to call that done. Well, you're so much there. Okay, now you've all had a good laugh. I tell you what, even if it doesn't turn out as I intended, I think it's going to look pretty good. Anyway, we'll see. Um, now we've got to leave that overnight, and it's only afternoon now, so what I'm going to do is do the other ring. Um, and then we'll come back tomorrow when it's hardened up. So by the magic of YouTube, um, this is the following day and um, everything is uh, set up nicely, the middle put's rock hard now. So I'm going to be using a combination of a um, negative rake scraper and my 10mm um, spindle gouge, very light cuts to bring this down. Um, and see how it looks and then I might do a little bit of just refining uh, then I'll sand up through the grits and then use Yorkshire grit and finally Hampshire Sheen high gloss that's what I intend to do so let's see how it goes So what I've actually done, um, which is something I don't normally do before I apply Yorkshire Grit, I've sanded up to 600 because I, I wanted to get this as smooth as possible and the Yorkshire Grit, when it's worked its magic, should actually um, get it to around the um, 1000 grit mark. So I'll put sanding sealer on first, then I'll Yorkshire Grit and then I'll apply one or two coats of Hampshire Sheen High Gloss and the job will be done. Now at the stage where I've applied one um, coat of sanding sealer inside and out. I'm going to let that dry. No need to denib it because the Yorkshire Grit will do that for me. and also with the milliput. I've learned a few things that I would possibly do differently next time um, but all in all 
it's come out pretty well. I'll part him off now and I'll put a few pictures up at the end. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.